All right, so I'm gonna go in here on this side here and get down into another one of these drainages and recover my other camera. Now what you see here, and they're all over public land, so I'm not giving away anything here. If you recognize the spot, well, you're really good then. Because it looks like about 50 other places. So they cleared this out. This was a clear cut. I don't know how many years back, eight years ago. And now it's all starting to grow up. It's really, really, really big. I, I can't even tell you, but it is well over 100 acres, a couple of hundred acres consistently, all just like this. And you can come and you can sit here in the evenings and you can watch the deer. They'll come out of here and then they'll go into the forest, start feeding, come out of this thicket. I hear guys talking about, oh, there really ain't that many deer. There's not really that many deer on public land. I walked around in there. I really didn't see many at all. They're all in there. And you're not going in there. And if you do, you're blowing them out. It's so, so thick. They bed down in there during the day. That's why when you walk around in the other sections, you very rarely see them. And then when it goes to get dark, they'll get up and they'll come out before daylight or right there at first light they come back in and they bed now when the rut comes in that's totally different rules change then early season and even into late season they stay in these thickets and they come in and out to feed at different times mainly last light and in the beginning of, of the morning all right so uh, down here in the drainage, I got a camera set up and I'm going to go recover it. And I'm also going to look around for a feed tree or two. I don't think the acorns are falling real heavy yet. All right, let's go on down here. It's thick, but not as thick as that. What's up, everybody? Brian, Carolina Bushwhacker. Well, I'm out here scouting around and recovering a few trail cameras and Man, it is 95 with a heat index of, I don't know what, but it's pretty warm. But I, I'm keeping liquids in me, Gatorades and water. I want to talk to y'all about the future of the Carolina Bushwhacker channel. Now, I've been doing this for almost three years, coming up here very shortly. I've got some of you that have been with me since the beginning. Some of you that have joined in in the last month. Some of you joined in 18 months ago in the middle. I appreciate each and every one of you. A lot of you correspond with me and I try to do the best I can to correspond back with you. Uh, there's quite a few of you, a handful of you easily I can name real quick that I have met and actually have been hunting and fishing with here lately. I appreciate that. That's what this channel is about. I'm not trying to build this channel thinking I'm gonna make money and stuff. I build this channel to meet and reach out to other people that have the same common interest in the outdoors and that lifestyle that I have. Now, to talk about the future. So, I'm about to turn 50 in a few days. So I call this the beginning of the end. Most people, when they hit 50, they start their bucket list, which is the end. You know, none of us are guaranteed to live to be 90 or 85 or 70 or anything. But I know this, I'm getting closer to the other end of that candle than when it first got lit and I was born. So I'm starting that bucket list and I'm gonna explain a little bit of that to you. So I've become a taxidermist. I got out of the construction industry. That frees up my time to be able to do a lot more of this and not be owned by the construction industry like I was for several years. So, oh, y'all get ready. I'm getting ready to start pumping out some videos this deer season, fall fishing. Got a whole lot planned out. I'm also going to Georgia. I'm going to Alabama. I'm gonna hunt for the next five months. That's right, five months, September, October, November, December, January, and into the very beginning of February in Alabama. Now, I know some of you have heard me say, oh, I'm going to Illinois last year. Let me tell you about that. That wasn't right what them fellas did to me. 
They led me on all the way up to the moment I almost bought my non-resident hunting license and scheduled everything to go to Illinois. That license was like $405 or whatever. And then poof, they just disappeared on me. That's a dirty game to play. But you know, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Only thing them guys did, and if you're watching this, the only thing you did was just motivate me. You just motivated me more. That's the only thing you've done. I'm not mad. But I'm going to Georgia, and I'm going to Alabama, and I'm not putting no eggs in nobody else's basket in Georgia or Alabama. I'm going to go hunt public land. If I kill something, I kill something. If I don't, I don't. It's the journey, the experience, and I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel, you like what you're hearing. Well, I don't need to tell you no more. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know that you're liking this. Hit the little bell. Get notified because I'm about to bring a whole lot of content. Like I said, this is the beginning of the end. I got many years left to go, I hope and pray, unless the good Lord's ready to take me home. But I'm going to bring y'all a ton of content, hunting, fishing, taxidermy and what i'm going to do is something a little different this year i'm going to take and we're going to make a harvest we're going to skin or cape it out and we're going to mount it and we're going to go through the whole process from in the field all the way to on the wall oh y'all ain't gonna want to miss that y'all ain't gonna want to miss that so keep up with me all right well i'm gonna go get this trail camera and i'm gonna get out of here i've been in here for several hours it's pretty hot i'm ready to go kick the ac in the jeep i got a little over an hour ride home suck down some more gatorades go home take a cool shower and then suck down some more gatorades and soak up that ac for a little while the wife will be home soon by the way i got a great wife she supports all this I love my wife so much. You got to have that in your life too to do certain things. All right, well, here I go. So you get down in between these ridges. And these ridges all come down into these here. Finger feeders is what I call them. But they'll come from the high. And they'll feed on through all the way down to a river or a main creek or whatever kind of body of water and you can find where these deer are taking they'll run right along the edges of them and I got a hot trail here and as you can see it comes down and crosses and goes right up and just stays right down the side of it I set up a trail camera I'm gonna go retrieve it and see what's on the card all right so that, like I said, that feeder goes down in there. And here's another one that comes off of it. So the deer are come and come around through this bend. So I set up a camera right there. All right. Holy smuckers, man, is it hot? It's 95 today with the heat index. Whoo, and I just got the AC fix in the Jeep. I need a little bit cooler ride. I'm sucking down waters and get aids. All right, well, let's go look at one more spot. And then I'm done for today. Getting too old for this, but not really. <laughs> 